go. Oh man, I'm getting a late start today. But I'm going to get the mail because I've got a real nice package waiting for me from District Weather Supply. Well, I'll just, I'll just show you what's in it later. And I'm just realizing now that I probably shouldn't have brought the camera with me to get the mail because I might have kind of a, an armful to bring back. Oh well, we'll make it happen. Okay, I got it. It's here. Woo! <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal, but I always get excited when I get something from District Weather. All right, let me bust into this thing and uh, show you what I got. Oh yeah, let's see what we got here. Got some tokenol. That's gonna be a new burnishing agent for me to try out. I've never tried it before. Everyone rages about it, so we'll see how it goes. All right, what else we got? We got some new uh, canvas. Oh yeah. Those are gonna be nice for the edges. I like that, I'm happy about that. What else we got? Oh, got my John James harness needles. I've been needing to pick up some new needles for hand stitching. I've heard these are really strong and they've got a nice blunt tip on it so that you won't mark up your leather. These will be nice to have. DLS coming in clutch. All right, this is some Vinimo thread. I picked some of this out, just been wanting to try it out. It's a bonded polyester. I think it works a little better if you add just a little bit of wax to it before you stitch, but the cool thing about this stuff is you can run it through your sewing machine. So it looks like I ordered size number one. Uh, that was a mistake. I must have just thrown the wrong one in the cart. If I was going to order again, I probably would have ordered uh, number five or number eight because that's closer to weight 92 or 138 thread, which is usually what I use on my machine. So then I could keep the look kind of consistent. Plus, you know I'm all about that really subtle stitching. Um, so this is probably a little bit bigger than I would have gone. It's just for testing out and playing around with. So yeah, some Vinimo polyester bonded thread. That's gonna be good stuff. What else we got? Oh, here it is. This is what I was excited about. Right there. That's the only reason I ordered District Leather Supply. <laughs> yeah. It's good. All right, just playing. This is what I was really excited about. This is a book by Studio Tac Creative. They've got a huge library of books that I've been wanting to just thumb through. It's all about uh, the techniques and strategies behind sewing a leather bag on a sewing machine. So unfortunately none of it's in my native tongue, <laughs> but uh, Bill was letting me know that you can learn pretty much everything you need to know just by looking at the pictures. There's lots of good photography in there and uh, you can pretty much learn all you need to. So much good stuff. Yeah! But anyway, go on to District Leather Supply. They've got the full Studio Tac Creative Library on there with like long wallets and you can pick up a book on just about anything uh, and learn from these guys. It's so good. This is a good little uh, inside joke. I wrote in my order, in the order notes, anyone up for a milkshake? <laughs> but there's context to that. It's because when Bill was here, in fact, you probably saw it in our vlog, but we went to In-N-Out the morning he left and we just pounded some big whopping milkshakes and we both drank them way too fast and we, we were feeling it on the way to the airport. We're like, what were we doing? That was a mistake. And plus it was like 10 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, but I said, anyone up for a milkshake? And, and uh, Matt actually wrote, wrote this. He said, Bill said no more milkshakes, LOL, from Matt. <laughs> Love those guys. Okay. So uh, I did a little unintentional lying yesterday. I told you that I had a big project that I was going to work on today. Since I got such a late start, it just didn't happen. I didn't even get the vlog up till like 3 o'clock. Um, it was just kind of a weird day. Just couldn't pull it together. So... I'll show you how to sew some patches on hat. I've already had a bunch of emails from people saying they want one of the hats. They're 18 bucks and uh, just send me a DM or email and I'll uh, send you an invoice and get one out to you. Yeah, let's sew some patches. Okay, so since I didn't get to do the original project I had planned for today, I decided I'm just gonna whip up a bunch of these hats, throw some patches on them, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So the patches that I order, I'll put a link down below where I order my patches. I, I order them with the adhesive back, so it's got a peel off sticky surface, which means I can just uh, stick it right where I want it on the hat. And this really helps for sewing because if you don't have that, um, then the patch is moving all around while you're sewing and it's really hard to keep it straight. So this makes life easy. So if you're gonna order yourself some patches, make sure you get it with the adhesive backing on it. Based on the design and shape of this patch and hat, I usually go with about one finger width from the brim, just so that I can make sure every hat is consistent all the way around. So if you're gonna be doing a bunch of these, make sure that you can find a way to make each one consistent from the next. All right, and then this is the thing that will get you every time, this little brim inside here. Make sure that that's folded completely out of the way when you start and stop your stitch. All right, let's go sew this thing up. 
So I want to be able to put the stitch uh, on that interior part, on the white. So I'm going to use white thread so it hides it as much as possible. I'm using a weight 92 bonded nylon thread. For this kind of thing, it would probably be better to go with something thinner, like 69. But this is what I've got. And I don't know, it's kind of cool because it resembles the stitches of our wallets. You know, the exact same stitch that goes into our wallet is what goes on to our hats. It's kind of a cool thought cool little branding play. So another thing I'm going to do is make sure I keep the stitch as close to that gold bar rim right there. And that'll just keep it nice and straight and tidy. And uh, hopefully you won't be able to notice the stitch very much. So this is the part that's really uncomfortable. You've got to fold the hat and flatten it out as much as you can. And it feels really unnatural. You think you're ruining the hat. Once you pop it back out, it's all fine and dandy and it looks great. You just, it just feels really weird at first. This would actually be a really good time to have a cylinder arm machine, but I don't, so we're working with it. All right, so I'm gonna get underneath my foot, drop my needle as close to that gold rim as possible. I'm gonna back stitch twice, and just cruise right along. I'm gonna make sure that flaps out of the way. I don't wanna sew that up. And there we have it, that looks pretty good. To be fair, I don't do these very often. This is kind of a new thing for me. We used to have a lady that sewed these on for us and she was amazing at it. She could do like 100 of them in an hour. She needed to go her own way and do her own thing, so, so, so we don't have her help anymore. But if I ever need to do a whole lot more, I'll probably get a lot better at it. But again, this isn't one of our top sellers. This is just something that's kind of fun to have for us. Um, hand them out to our, some of our top customers. And yeah, it's just a cool little, uh, Branding play. This hat's ready to wear. You caught a cricket? Are you gonna let it out in here? Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's in there? Yeah. There it is. Ah. You see Look, that cricket? It can't ball? get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, Wes. Are you still in there? Still in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Wesley, stop! <laughs> You're such a bully. He's trying to throw it on his sister. You want to touch it? Here. You want to grab it? Oh, no. I don't want to. That's cool, Indy. Can't believe you caught that. Yeah, so that wasn't intimidating or anything. I just got off the phone with the Weber County Sheriff. No, actually, he's not the sheriff yet, but he will be. He just destroyed in the primary elections. He's got it in the bag in November. He's got kind of a special project that he wants to put together. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun to work with him. He's actually a family friend of ours. And we've, I've known him for a long time. Just a really good guy. You better believe I'm going to vote for him in November. Am I supposed to tell you that? You're not supposed to know who I vote for. You don't know who I'm voting for. It's him. I'm going to vote for him. <laughs> Not a real productive day today as far as Leathercraft goes, but I did just demolish my inbox today and I'm feeling really good about it. Some things that had been, uh, I've been putting off for a while. Now Whit and the kids and I are gonna go to the lake and just hang out, take a picnic up there. They were gonna do it yesterday and it didn't work out, so uh, we're going today. And I wouldn't have been able to go yesterday, so I'm glad that they waited. So we'll see you at the lake. We are who we are. Why don't I be me? We're spreading color around us We're lighting up the sky, it's what we do We shouldn't care about anyone or anything That brings us down, so come on now Let's go free, just be yourself Keep on doing what you do, doing what you do Just keep on doing what you do Buddy. I, I was so mad at myself yesterday because I forgot to uh, read comments at the end of the vlog. I was just rushing and it got really late and I just blew it. Let's read some comments from yesterday's vlog. Wallace Vivian said congrats on your 20k subs. Great looking wallets. Thank you Wallace. Appreciate it. This is by Ricardo Santos. You are at your peak now. Don't change a thing. Love your videos and your products. Thanks. Ah! Thank you Ricardo. That's so cool. My man, Stefan Lewis, he said, killing it, dude. Awesome as always. He's amazing at videography, makes some incredible edits. Steph, if you're listening, let's both commit to doing daily vlogs together. Let's do it. I'll do a better job if I got some accountability. Let's do it, man. You've got crazy cool stuff going on every day with your uh, giveaway vids. 
Greg Kessman again said, congrats on 20K subs, keep it rolling. Henry said, great stuff, man. Gosh, you guys are so awesome. All right, guys, once again, thank you for watching. I still haven't committed to doing daily vlogs yet, but I've kind of been doing it. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of get in the groove and seeing if this is gonna work. But I think after our 20K celebration video happens, that's gonna be the mark for uh, daily vlogs. So yeah, by the way, we hit 20K. <laughs> it happened today at like, I don't know, early in the morning. I didn't even see it happen. I wish I could have watched it tip over. But yeah, 20, I don't know. Most of you are probably like, why is 20K so significant? It's not, but I'm proud of it and I'm really happy about it. And I love you guys. I love every single one of you 20,000 beautiful individuals. <laughs> so seriously, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. I hate saying this part. I hate it when other people say this, but go tap that bell so that uh, you don't miss any of our vids coming up. Yeah, gonna be pumping them out every day. So let's get it. All right, love you guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.